Hello everyone, Axe Wolf here, and welcome to episode 17 of the Ball Collective Let's Play on Solaris Star Trek New Horizons. So, at the end of the last episode, I was saying that I was going to be getting my ships ready for the Voth Crusade, and it turns out they seem to want to do it themselves to us. So, the sleepers awake. And here we go. The Voth have awoken. We will consider your request. So, I'm going to be building those ships. Well, I still am. I think there might be... Uh... Yeah, I've got some tactical cubes there. It seems like I might be able to... No, no. Still need more fleet command limit. It's only at 460. I mean, I could put three tactical cubes in one. Yeah, so I had a problem somewhere, and then it uh, ignored itself. That's fine. It'll be a massive cube block here. So yeah, I basically need to take my tactical cubes, move them. No, nope, that's not a tactical cube. That is though. They're already a group of three. Okay. And yeah, that's added a tactical cube to that fleet. Fine. And then we've got some poor regular cubes. Right, so I need to split this in half. Then add them together, then add them together. So I have three tactical cube three fleets of three. Um, it's possible that I split that and add the tactical cube to the regular cubes. And then everyone's all sorted, and we now have 120, 180, probably 200 actually there. Maybe about 300,000 fleet power. It says the Voth have woken up. We will consider. But they haven't gone anywhere yet. They're not at war with anyone yet, I don't think. We will consider your request. They've just got Cassius Belli on everyone. Well, I guess we could go forth and see what they're doing. Dogs having a bit of a balk. Let's move to Krenim. Research complete. Research complete, armor hit points. Yeah, we'll just keep doing that. It's fine. No problem. Still upgrading them. Not a lot of time passed since the end of the last episode and the start of this one. As I said, I wanted to get stuff ready, but it kind of uh, did it for us, didn't it? So we're, we are losing dilithium. So if there's any slots or any unemployed, we should build that first. To try and uh, boost our production. Obviously we've got the new sub-complexes as well that are getting built. We're going to build so many, so many. I don't even know if there's a sub, uh, sub complex limit per like system, but we'll see. So yeah, it's just side of the thing that we're losing. That's fine. Prevention and protocol. Yeah, I'm going to keep doing that. 
as we send in the fleet and see what they've got. The Vidian, they only have two systems. I think we should have sensors to see into their system, surely. I guess I could just go straight in, the borders are enclosed, and see what's going on. Oh, they are closed. How would I see what they are doing then? This isn't my star base. <laughs> it's the Kazon. I don't want to go to war with the Kazon just for a star base. I could go to war with the Vidians. Oh, right, fine. I'm the part of a coalition with the Prey Law. Oh, really? Oh, wait a minute. No, is that the Prey Law Auxiliary or? Yes. God damn it. Is there something in the Cole system? Maybe we can take that. Construction complete. Jane's Jane's. That's the defensive one, isn't it? That I was building. Yep. Cool. I need construction vessels to join me over here. Well, whatever's in there, that's pretty chunky, if it still is. So it is. Don't think I'm about to worry, though, do you? Privateers. Right, well, we will take the system then. I guess there was a lot of privateers that they couldn't get through. Maybe I should have already done a preemptive kind of strike against the Kazon. But then again, I think the Voth might have declared war on me anyway. So we'll see. We will see. Idrin's Lodge, what's up with you? You've got 12 unemployed people. I'll try my best to improve that. And if not, they're going to have to uh, move to a new home. Maybe one of the subcomplexes. Where's that construction ship? Is it almost? Yep, it's just transwarped. I still think that, that shouldn't be instantaneous, but that would probably add a lot of more calculation time on top, and the game's slow enough as it is. Like, I still feel like it should be quick, but that is literally like click of your fingers and you're there. I don't know if they trans warp in, in Star Trek, it's not instantaneous, it's just an absolute crap on the faster than generic warp. And it would be nice to see, like, as it's just a 
well, I don't know how they do it, but basically create a visible hyperlane, or obviously in Star Trek it's supposed to be warp, so you don't see any of them, but a line between, and they actually travel it like a regular thing. Construction complete. That'd be pretty cool. But like I say, it's probably not really complete. feasible, so. I won't continue to wish for things that aren't happening. <laughs> Construction complete. Oh, all these star bases are going to be annoying now, aren't they? Construction can't. complete. They're going to... Construction complete. Right. Naval Depot. Find the ones that are being built. Those are all the same size now, so they jumble up. I don't know if that's Research everything now. Complete. Research complete. Naval capacity. Fleet command limit. Yes, we wanted that, didn't we? You better... Oh, sugar, I need to survey it myself. They're not taking this system from me. Do I even have a science vessel anymore? No, I don't. Of course I don't. Science vessel? What are you talking about? I haven't needed them. I can't believe it. It's a Kazon as well. Right, science ship. You're my only hope. You must build. Come on. Come on. Come on. You need to get over here. ASAP. Assign a leader. Four of seven? Sure. Oh, I can see what's in their system now. Oh my! That's quite a few. Construction complete. Construction complete. 200k, 200k, 150k. Complete. We can deal with their fleets one at a time, not all together. Complete. So how is it that my science ship, my construction ship, sorry, has view and when we went with our main ships we couldn't see? Interesting. But the other thing is they've not expanding, they've, they're awakened and they're not doing anything. I mean, a sign ship has probably an absolute insane um, detection range, multiphasic sensor array. So why don't I have that on my main ships? Or is that on like tiny ships that I don't use anymore? Let's have a gander, shall we? I'm gonna tell it to survey that system. But anyway, ship designer, probe. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, that's been one of my problems in this entire playthrough. So if you've been watching it all the way through, you've realised that that's what's been happening. It seems that only my sign ship has um, a 
its sensors. So a construction ship has a radar system. A science ship has the multiphasic sensor array. Right. Maybe I can make a a sensor ship, a custom sensor ship. Um, a sensor ship. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't realise I did that myself. Okay. This might go incredibly wrong, so bear with me. Ship designer. Fleet. No, ship designer. New design. Juggernaut. What the? Okay, no, I can't. Uh, let's make it a diamond. Something actually useful, eh? So it's your mega diamond. I don't think any of these are going to give me any option to change, are they? Service diamond? I don't think Yeah, it seems I don't have it. <laughs> Did I get the tradition that damages? Yeah, fallen and awakened. Yeah, so I got Galactic Contender. There's only one star in it, there's not anything special to the system, it's just this. I'm the only one with the construction ship though, so they can get in the bin. It's my system. It belongs to the Borg. Let's speed things up again. That's one mighty influence cost. <laughs> Build a, a station here. Transport conduit. I will probably also need to build some more ships, but like I say, dilithium is currently not good to eat. But if I can reduce the upkeep by having a star base with a system there then that'd be great. Yeah, it's just a bit frustrating, that's all. If they spread out, then I'd be more likely to deal with them, but with them all bunched up here... Construction complete. There isn't a lot I can do. I mean, at least their station isn't ridiculously powerful. It's just their ships. Right, so that's done. Can you build a transport conduit, please? And let's upgrade the starbase. See, again, I'm like thinking that we were going to be having a massive war and then they're not doing anything. I feel like I can't, if I declared war on them, it could be really bad for me. Right now. So I'm trying to maneuver myself in such a way where I can build more ships and whatnot. It's possible that I can repurpose these two stations here that are generating 
some electricity that I don't really need. Let's just swap that into a naval depot. But obviously, it only gives me plus four, it doesn't stack with any other facility that we have. Which is a shame. Guess it's time to upgrade two more bases. And probably get Unimatrix 01 shipyard to build some more tactical cubes. <laughs> I think we'll be one star base over the limit actually because I forgot that I'm upgrading this one. That's fine. Send you off exploring! See what's in this part of space that no one's touching. Now I'm thinking like, hmm, perhaps I should have just gone to war with the Romulans again. Oh well. I'm just building sub-complex after sub-complex. I think thankfully transport conduits don't count as a megastructure. So there is that. the one that's giving us extra, or is that converting? Which is fine. Even if it is start dipping below the energy requirements, which is unlikely, I can just pop off the uh, energy optimization. It costs 300 deuterium, so it's not even influence required, like the mineral one. Fleet command limit! Now we're doing on fleet command. Yeah, to get four ships in one, you need uh, yeah, four tactical cubes. One, two, five each, aren't they? So it's five hundred. So we need three more of those. Well, two more on top of this repeatable tech. I mean, I might be overcompensating. I don't know what the Voth are like. I've never fought them before. So I don't know what they're even good at. So, so we don't even have shields, so we need to look at armor damage and hull damage. Shield piece in quantum torpedoes. Oh, another Borg don't like quantum torpedoes, don't we? So that's a Justice Class flagship. That does 2,500 damage. Let's have a look at one of our cubes. Right, so our cubes do 2,000 damage. One 
of our admirals died, unfortunately. It looks like they're trying to do something, but it keeps going weird. Minus seven dilithium. Now make a cube that does six thousand damage on its own. I mean that says my armor penetration minus a thousand, so I don't know what that means. That's one hundred or a thousand. So that's theoretically saying that they can't damage our armor at all. But we know in reality that's not what happens. So yeah, Bobbit subcomplex is under construction. As is a new transport conduit in Kole. And the star base, how far is that to be done? Almost there. Although I could have already put the. Uh, or maybe I couldn't. Yeah, because it needs to be level one. Well, it is possible I might be able to use the system Viniculum if I declare war on them. They're, well, I don't know if they would immediately come to attack us in this system. It's possible. Come on, hurry up. Almost there, come on. Then I can start stopping the sheer drain on our resources. Research complete. Huh. You can start bases as well. Why are you at low, you're not at low stability? Stop lying to me. Is it just because it's new? I think it's just because it's new. I think that's as many as I can build on the current planets. It seems to suggest that I can do more than one on one area, but I don't want to do that because that sounds really dumb. Construction complete. Construction complete. Yep, so they've been converted. We're building some new stations. Coley Station. It's kind of on the way. These two are going to be naval depots. And we're already building two more tactical cubes. Because that's how we do it. 11 unemployed here. Can upgrade the dilithium jobs. Construction complete. Because we know we need that. Scientist missing. Complete. Well, not missing. Yo, not assimilated. Well, I never. Oh well. 
how are we doing? So yeah, we should have... Or maybe we're not in orbit? Technically? Yeah, there we go. Now we're in orbit. Getting that reduction... Minus 33%. thinking that if I antagonise them and they come barreling down here, <laughs> it'll certainly be an epic fight. And obviously if I don't save Scummit, it could be the end of the series, which I think I wouldn't mind if it ended that way. The hubris, the sheer effing hubris, as Admiral Clancy would say. Yeah, I feel like things are going to be shaken up with the Necroids pack and the upgrades to the mod. And maybe instead of playing on the realistic galaxy, we play on a smaller scale to help the slowdown. I think that would be a good idea, if I do say so myself. So we've got 60% Transwarp Conduit going on there. Starbase doing its thing. I'm just trying to think. That's about 100k. That's about 140k. That's 240k. Maybe about 300k. And they have probably closer to about. 400, 500k. And now I can't see them anymore. Oh, I can now. Again. Yeah, 185, 155. So, yeah, I, I do not know what this will happen. What will pain from this, but anyway. Ah oh, yes, I'll send them to Corley, they'll be fine. I lost an Admiral, did I? Uh, General, should I say. I just see upkeep, not that it matters. A whole lot. Yeah, considering Paul Saw is supposed to be a Bastion, it's only slightly more powerful. And it's got a defensive little thing. So at least it seems to do anything for you. Power wise. Interesting. Claiming our systems. Game's frozen again. Come on, show me. I do not care about the door's eye. Entering into a research agreement with the United Federation of Planets. No, seriously, I really don't. No, oh, it's the it's the Federation claiming systems. Well, now. Although to be fair, they have kind of gone weird. They'd lost have they lost the soul system? Yeah, they have. They lost it to the Telluroids. But they kind of blob in the galactic core. Don't they? So they are actually bordering me. Interesting. I mean, obviously, when I build a transport conduit up here, should 
the Federation decide to attack, which I seriously doubt, I'd be able to warp directly from Coley to Pulsar. That's an interesting turn of events. Did they absorb who we attacked before then? I don't even remember who it was. Is it the Brunali? The FCA is watching you. Yeah. Obviously the leader is a Ferengi. I can't see the population, but yeah. Interesting in that they lost their own pocket. What are the Klingons up to? Klingons, but led by a human. Right. The overlord of quite a few empires, including the Morali. Well, they owe a few favours. Gone is <laughs> in the Federation. Right. Seventy five per cent progress. Trans warp. Fleet command limit, so we'll just keep doing that. And hopefully, we can consolidate some of our ships. We're almost there. Four tactical cubes would equal about 100k fleet power. current naval capacity and scratching my head a bit thinking can I even sustain such capacity although I think the warrior drones I did find out do give you naval capacity I think that's from pop jobs plus 937 So how about we build some of those, eh? Mission log updated. Yeah, I'm not sending a rescue, I can't be asked. <laughs> Unless it's Oh. Right, it's literally here. What do you need? Yeah, military ship. Okay. Okay. Apparently there's pirates. Oh, hello. <laughs> it, yep, it was nice knowing you pirates. That's a good job I didn't stop my transport conduit from being built because that would annoy me. That would annoy me a lot. Ho. 
Tia Bobbitt's, currently subcomplexed. Out of its mind. At least we got them kind of going for us, which is nice. We're almost there, Transwarp Conduit. Yeah, I was expecting more. Oh, there seems to be building more fleets. I might, at the end of this episode and before the next one, do a little test and see what happens if I were to poke the hornet's nest. Because it, it seems like some of the things at the moment aren't working as intended, and it's kind of bumming me out, man. It's like, oh yeah, shit, like, war in heaven now, and they're gonna, like, expand, and, but, nope, they're just sat there. I mean, earlier on in the Your series... true scales are finally showing. I'm sure you remember that they demanded us to acquiesce to them, and we said no, and I think we did that twice. And they've currently got Cassius Belli and the fleet power to attack, and they aren't doing a thing. So yeah. It's not working. See, I'll probably finish it here then, and then do some investigations as the Transport Conduit is finishing. So yeah, thank you for watching. I mean, again, I thought this was going to be the episode, but it's not. So yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one, for hopefully a thing, but yeah, I'll see you later.